Alrighty, welcome to a 4-on-4 four four cube draft. I have teamed up with Xantos, Wombat, a new addition, got 10th at Worlds though, awesome stuff, and Alpha Frog, battling against Dan, Andreas from the VSL, Echo Baronin, the sandiest of dogs of course, and Matthias, who's a newcomer. What are we going to take here? We got a moderately weak pack, but you know, you know... I've never been one to, to turn down a Lion's Eye Diamond, and I feel like the last couple decks I've drafted were way too fair. You could also take Fiery Confluence here. You could take him to Turok here. I guess you could take Bribery here or Adeline, but I'm going to take LED and two, three, four, five. I think I might get back a Lorien Revealed. I don't really know. This pack has an Oko. I do like Oko. It's also Wooded Foothills and Pest Infestation. Much good green cards. Through the Breach, getting past. Might Wheel Sail into the West. You get it? Wheel. Draw seven. Uh, let's say I take Oko, because I will. One, a two, a three, four, five. Yes, maybe Sail into the West doesn't come back then. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, all right. We have a Oko and we have a Lion's Eye Diamond. So let's just get past Academy into Urza and then we're then we're really cooking. I'm getting passed to by Matthias here, who hasn't passed me anything too spectacular this pack. There's a Chandra, Atali, Titania, I guess. I might just brainstorm. Brainstorm's just a good card. It's also once upon a time, but I don't have the two first cards I took were not cards that Once Upon a Time can hit, so that makes me a little less inclined to take it. If I'd taken, like, Through the Breach, I guess I would just take Atali, but whatever, I'm just going to take Brainstorm. I think Brainstorm's pretty good. The best card in this pack is Atali, I think, but I don't really have anything that goes with it all that well. There's also Fatal Push, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, I might get back like a Garrick or maybe a Once Upon a Time if I can trap an adversary gets taken. I don't know, pretty mediocre pack, but yeah, sometimes they can't all be winners. Oh, Balance. I do love Balance. There's also Tireless Tracker, and then this face down card is Sower of Temptation. As much as I like Tireless Tracker, Balance is a pretty strong card. It's good with Planeswalkers. It's good with Artifacts. It's actually good with Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, I think I am going to take Balance. Plus, I haven't drafted a good Balance deck in a bit. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get Tireless Tracker back, but I, I can live with that. Looking for more Artifact mana here would be a pretty nice start. Wouldn't mind. I don't mind a Lotus Petal. Don't think I'm missing out on too much. Haywire Might is just fine. Oliphant, Flicker Wisp. Yeah, let's just take Lotus Petal. We have like some sort of unfair deck kind of start here. So seems like leaning into that can be pretty good. Heartbeat of Spring probably comes back if I really want it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what direction I'm going besides the fact that I've got a Planeswalker, a Brainstorm, a Balance, and then some Artifact Mana. Still would never, never mind a fast bond or an exploration like those. Sensei's top, Sylvan Library, just basically like places where I can store value so I can balance and just equalize everything. Like if you go land, mox, diamond, whatever, and then into balance, it can be real strong. Oh, I can take Crucible here because I'm on kind of like got a good start to finding. You know, Wasteland or Strip Mine or Zuranorb maybe. I don't know. But I think taking Crucible is fine. There's also Mishra's Bauble. I think both are plausible. Or Ketria Trium. But I really like taking Crucible. And I found that taking Crucible early, it can sometimes develop into something good. Or if you already have those pieces, you can, you can try to get it later. But I don't mind Crucible here. One, two, three, four. It'd be two cards left. These are all playable cards. So... I might get like a Mishra's Bauble back or a Crop Rotation back, it's possible. Which is somewhere in between plausible and possible. Oh, oh. 
I love me a Gaia's Cradle and seventh pick Gaia's Cradle, certainly tempting, but Windswept Teeth, a green-white fetch when I have a blue-green card, a white card, and a Crucible. I gotta take Windswept Teeth, unfortunately. Sorry, Crucible. Windswept Teeth is just way too perfect for what I got going on here. This was a strong pack because there's still a Cradle, a Quaddle, and a Sakura Tribe Builder. I would have been happy with any of those cards, honestly. That was pick seven? Okay. This, this deck could use a land. A land that maybe taps for multiple blue mana. <laughs> I would love to pick up a Tolerian Academy with this deck. <laughs> Just like, you know, most of the decks that I draft. Mm. I don't hate the Thespian stage. I'm probably not going to get the crop rotation back, but I don't think missing out on Mind Slaver or Batter Skull is that bad. And stage depths can be really good. Regrowth is also decent, but... I think I'm happy just taking a Thespian stage here. I have a nice low curve. Two zero drops, a one drop, a two drop, and two three drops, plus two lands. Dark Confident would be good in this deck. What are we looking for here? I mean, that was pick eight, so we're not going to get any new cards. I don't recall too much wheeling that, are, that I had my eye on to wheel, but I'm willing to, to get some pleasant surprises here. Dark Depths, we haven't seen yet, but by taking Stage, we reduced our competition for it. Wow, him came back, so did Fire Covenant. There's also Finale, I guess. I'm not really very likely to play any of these. I think I'll just hate draft him to Tarak. I just don't think... I think him is maybe the most powerful of these cards. Fire Covenant's close, but it's a little bit harder to use. So I'm just going to take the him and let's, let's, let's consolidate a little bit here. Hmm. Seven packs in between those two people. Well, Sail into the West did wheel, and I, and I will take it. Cathar Commando also wheeled. But Sail into the West is, is a card that at least has some decent potential. I'm, I'm really optimizing for Fast Bond. When I open Fast Bond or Tolarian Academy in pack two, I'll be pretty happy about that. Well, we're about to get an influx of packs. Because there's five here and one here. And this is us. Or six here. All right. Thias has them all. Oh, wow. Once upon a time wield. Mm, creature or land, and I have no creatures. I might just want to take Garrick, because Garrick, Garrick untapped two lands balance is nice. I don't care about passing Dark Confidant. Sure. Once upon a time is a stronger card than Garrick, I think. But like any normal green deck should run it. But I don't think it's what I want. I'll take Waterlogged Grove. A blue-green land that also works with uh, Crucible's fine. Um, I'll just hate the Mortars. I don't seem very likely to be playing. Heartbeat. I guess I'll take Mana Morphos. Not really a Lake of the Dead deck. And Sylvan Safekeeper is not long for this cube. All right, what do we got? Oh, there's the Exploration. There's also Shieldred and Fable and a Blue-White Fetch. Hmm. I don't have red fixing, but I, I guess I have Manamorphose. Windsor Teeth at some point could be red fixing. Lotus Petal. I think I'm just going to take Fable. Passing a Smuggler's Copter, too. And it's fine. Uh, maybe Matthias is playing black. Maybe not. That late him means I'm not really scared of passing Shield to the direction. I don't think. I think Gavin might be able to play it. I don't want to pass Fable because I've seen no red. And I think I might wheel exploration. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus Dire Fleet, Abbott, Talisman. Definitely wouldn't be surprised if exploration does not come back, but I think there's a decent chance it does. And I'm going to take the Fable here. All right. There's Minsk and Boo and Ragavan. I think I'll take Minsk and Boo. And I'm glad I took Fable because now I can follow it up. Minsk and Boo, I think, is better. There's also Dream Halls, <laughs> Hex Drinker, some good ones. Oh, Mox Diamond, oh, I love Brain Freeze and Retrofitter and Currency Converter, it's everything. I gotta take Mox Diamond though. Mox Diamond with Crucible is great. It's great with balance. And I just took two red cards that I'd love to accelerate out. So I'm gonna take Mox. Well, one of my pet cards wheel well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nine. Yeah, it's possible, but I'm not holding my breath. I don't look like I'm necessarily going to be an Academy deck anyway, since I'm not getting past the Academy. I know I have LED and Brain Freeze, and LED is two-thirds of the Breach combo, but Breach is the hardest one to get of those, so... Ooh, a blue-red duel. Tempting. Mm, yeah, I don't think a black-white talisman. I, I, and Time Warp is actually pretty good with four Planeswalkers. But in, in I guess, with Crucible. But a blue-red duel sounds pretty good, too. So I'm just going to take that. Oh, I might take Utopia Sprawl now. Utopia Sprawl is a way to ramp out these Planeswalkers. So... I think that's pretty nice. And I don't know that this Lion's Eye Diamond is doing too much for me here, but I think my man has gotten a lot better. Thespian Stage can go down to the maybes here. Unfortunately, Windswept Heath can't get Volcanic Island, but I'm hoping to get a few more dual lands over the course of this because I, I, I'm definitely going to play Balance. Balance in the All Planeswalker deck is fantastic. Well, I guess this isn't technically a Planeswalker, but close enough. And I also already have Mox and Lotus Petal. Even Utopia Sprawl is a decent way to get advantage with balance. You put it on a land, it's a permanent that doesn't get counted by balance, which is exactly what you want. You want to have as many of your cards stored in Mox Diamonds, Utopia Sprawls, Crucibles, Planeswalkers, so that when you cast balance, you have almost nothing, and then they have to sack everything. All right. Oh, Lotus Field with Crucible and with balance. Love it. And I have Thespian Stage, too. All right. I, I've been loving Lotus Field, so. It's like it's like an academy that I'm the only one who takes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I mean, upheaval would be nice, especially if that Exploration Wheels. And City of Traders isn't bad. Needers Besaidju. But I think Breeding Pool... Breeding Pool looks really tempting here. I like... I just like being able to cast my spells. It's... It's a weird quirk I've got. <laughs> I also don't think I generate quite enough mana for upheaval to be where I want to be. Not a Mystic Forge deck. I wouldn't have minded City of Traders, but I don't think I want that. It's it's actually a combo with Lotus Field. Sure, yeah, you can have City of Traders in play. Play Lotus Field, stack the triggers so that you sack the City of Traders to the Lotus Field. That seems like a good... A good thing. All right. I really would like Exploration to Wheel. This is this is turning into a fantastic Exploration deck. And uh, I'd be happy if it came back. I think at this point Crucible already looks good enough, by the way. Uh, oh, Escape to the Wilds. This looks like a nice Escape deck. I, I have a lot of decent acceleration for it. I think I want it more than Questing Beast or a Talisman. I mean, I do like the Talisman. All right. Come on, Exploration. That'd be really nice. Don't do it to me, Dan. Pass me that exploration. It's a late ignoble hierarch too, but I think that this deck, I've got I already got a couple accelerants. I have three accelerants actually: Lotus Petal, Mox Diamond, Utopia Sprawl, that aren't creatures. So I'm keeping that balance just fully activated. Exploration wheel, boom, love it. Such good news. And Talisman, Rolling Earthquake, and Raging Ravine are all there too, but certainly this is an exploration deck. Now, if I could open Fast Bond, that would be fantastic. I've given up on Academy, not taking uh, Currency Converter or Retrofitter Foundry has made any prospective Academies a lot worse, but I don't get past Academy. Literally, one of the players in the draft, uh, Wombat, was new, and they were like, all right, so kind of how do these go? And people were telling them, like, logistic rules, but they're also like, oh, and don't pass, pass LSV Academy. And I'm like, yeah, no wonder I don't get Academy anymore. Um, wow, can I Mox Opal here? I have three Zero Drops plus a Crucible. I'm pretty far away, and a Oko, I guess. I guess Fable makes things. There's also Odawara. Yeah, I should just take Odawara. I don't think this is turning into a Mox Diamond deck. It doesn't look like it, really. Dark Depths would be a nice pickup. It's a shame that crop rotation is gone, but what can you do? Looking for... I mean, I'm not really missing too much here. Another Fetch Land would be nice. Obviously, I'm not going to get a Fetch Land super late, but maybe pack three, I pick one up. And... 
Fast Bond would still be fantastic. If I do get Academy, I'll be kind of annoyed I didn't take the mocks. Oh, Brain Freeze versus Retrofitter. That's actually a pretty tough pick as well. Huh. Brain Freeze would be only for if I open exactly Underworld Breach and get past it in pack three, though I do have a draw seven. Retrofitter doesn't look like it does that much for me, but if I open Academy, I'll be re or Urza, I'll really have it. Glad I had it. I think I'll take the Brain Freeze. I don't know. Uh, I'll take the red blue land. I don't think Kinnon is really going to see play. Well, I'll take Knight. Knight of the Reliquary is a possibility. Brain Freeze also a possibility. Basically, it's like Underworld Breach versus Urza slash Academy, but the other. There's two other additional factors. One is that I could just play. Uh, I'll take Gargroth as a sideboard card. One is that I could just play Retrofitter and be okay. The other, though, is that. Underworld Breach Brain Freeze makes my deck a lot better than the Academy part, so I don't know. Uh, there's Telerian Academy. You're killing me. There's also Frantic Search and a Fetch Land, but I actually think I'm just going to take Hole Breacher. Hole Breacher when I have, well, Pseudo Draw 7. It actually doesn't work with Hole Breacher because they just choose not to do it, but it's still good. Oh man, if I would taken Retrofitter, I definitely would have taken Academy here. But I think Hole Breacher is the pick, and yeah, we're probably not getting anything back. Oh, there's a Fast Bond and a Flash, but Fast Bond, Crucible. We haven't seen Zernorb go by yet. Now we really need a Draw 7s and Fetch Lands are, are the cards I'm really looking for here. Zernorb, Draw 7, Fetch Land. All right. Well, Fast Bond makes me feel a lot better about the Academy pick because now that I have Exploration and... Fast bond, like I get to generate a lot of mana. Oh, Remand versus Sheldock. I love Sheldock. There's also Candelabra for the Academy I don't have. And a Skull Clamp, but we're not really a Skull Clamp deck. Kind of want Sheldock here. I just think Sheldock is awesome. It's and just a really busted card. I can play a lot of lands in this deck. <laughs> Okay, Zuron Orb, Fetch Land. Obviously, if I get a Strip Mine. Oh, there's Underworld Breach. Never mind, I'm a genius. Now I have Breach, LED, Brain Freeze. They're just passing me. They're just over here passing me fourth pick Breaches? All right, well, we're in. Look at that. This deck This deck is a banger now. We all Now what we really want is some more draw segments. Wheel of Fortune or Time Twister would be amazing gifts, but... Honestly, getting a pack, wheeling Brain Freeze and then getting Underworld Breach pick four, pack three was uh, very spicy. Okay. So this is 21 lands right now. Maybe a little high. Maybe a Wheel Frantic Search. I don't think that's super likely, though. Also, this Garrick doesn't necessarily have to be in the deck, though I like it untapping Lotus Field. That one's nice. Hmm. I mean, this deck could play like 20 lands. It actually wouldn't be terrible. Two two of its land cycle. Oh, there's Zurin Orb. Yes, we are taking that. All right, we've got two different combos in our deck now. Zurin Orb, Fastball, and Crucible, and uh, Underworld Breach, Brain Freeze, Lion's Eye. Well, sorry, we have a lot of combos in our deck. Those aren't the only two, but those are two instant win combos. Fastball, Zurin Orb, Crucible gives you infinite mana, infinite life, which usually enough to win. Also with Fiery Islet, or Waterlog Grove, you draw your whole deck. So obviously you win there. With uh, with Brain Freeze, Underworld Breach, Lion's Eye, you just deck them very quickly. So actually with those cards, even if they have an Eldrazi, I can Brain Freeze myself and to assemble the Crucible LED combo or Crucible Zern or Vaspawn combo. And then, and then I don't know how I win the game, but I would figure something out. I guess if I can draw my whole deck, I can't deck them. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, Taiga. There's also Chart of Course and Expressive Iteration, but Windswept Teeth now making red is pretty nice. I have a lot of red cards in my deck. Let's just take Taiga here. A little Taiga uppercut. And any cantrip I wheel, I'll be happy enough with. Uh, infinite Mana... Does mean I could take Emrakul to try to win with infinite mana, but I, I could also just take Goldspan Dragon and cast it and have it be pretty good. I think that that's probably what I want to do. Because this deck 
can't do that. I guess I could Sheldock Isle and Emrakul out. Also, there's one more pack for us to hit Dark, de dark Depths for like every combo. <laughs> huh. So Spellseeker gets Balance, which is a little awkward. Gets Brain Freeze, which can be okay. Mana Morphos and Brainstorm. We're not getting any draw seven, sadly. There's Sacred Foundry as a red-white land, but Windswept Teeth already gets red and white, so that doesn't do too much. There's Life from the Loam, which is kind of nice with Fast Bond or Exploration and some of these things. Yeah, yeah, I think Loam. Loam actually looks better to me than the rest of these. Now, if that Pluto Delta could just wheel... No, Frantic Search did, though. All right, well, I will take that. That is a... A great way to go about things too. So now, now we're on 17 land. <laughs> so now I need to cut a card. Maybe the Garrick. I don't know. We wield too many good cards. Because I, I do think I want to play like 18 lands. I was hoping to get a draw seven in the past in the in this pack. The way things turned out, I kind of wish I'd just taken Pluto Delta over Hole Breacher, but yeah, so so it goes. I'm not going to play any of these cards. I think I'd rather take Rex Sage for the sideboard. I could also cut Goldspan. I have a couple ways to accelerate it out. It is pretty strong when you do. I think the Loam is going to be good here. Because I can, like, discard Mox to it. I have a Fetch Land. I don't know. Oh, Oath of Druids. Would I play Oath of Druids in this deck? All I have is Goldspan and Hole Breacher. <laughs> uh, but it also, like, mills my deck. I could see that. I, I could even side an Elder Gargaroth against aggro. Maybe I just side an Oath of Druids, because it's a pretty strong card. I could see playing Red Blue Talisman in this deck. I don't know that I will, though, because now I'm at 16 lands, which is certainly too low. I think I still want to play 18, because it makes Fast Bond, Exploration, Loam, makes all those cards better. Maybe no Talisman. I guess Garrick is fine. Uh, maybe no Goldspan. Maybe no other Garrick. The main thing this Garrick does is untaps lands. I don't know the cantrips wield. We're not a high tide deck, right? Really not. Okay, I guess I'll take Turnabout, but I won't play that one either. Oh, Ulamog. That makes it more likely I can brain freeze people out. Okay. Well... This deck looks fantastic to me. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. The one thing this deck is missing a little bit of is uh, it doesn't have as many cantrips as I would like. But I think that that's something we can we can deal with. Like adding one preordain or something would have been nice. I think I had to take Taiga over Charter Course and Expressive Iteration. I'm just, I don't know. Fixing's good. But let's see. So this is this is thirty three. This is without talisman. Seventeen lands. Hmm, maybe that's fine. Actually, let's see. Is there something I'd want to cut for a land? I mean, I don't even have very many colorless lands. So, like, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a ton of blue without even adding islands. But let's say I add two islands, three forests, maybe four forests. So that's four forests, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven green. I don't think I need... Oh, no, I do need a plains. Oh. I probably need to cut a mountain then. Or sorry, cut an island then. Because I need, I need a plains for windswept teeth. I guess I technically don't need a mountain, but I probably want one. One, two, three. Yeah, that's enough blue. All right. Do I want to cut something for just like another island? Is kind of the question. So this is eight turn one green sources plus lotus petal and mox diamond makes it ten. And then lotus field. Yeah, that, that's enough green. I kind of feel like if I were to cut a card, it would be either a Goldspan or a Garrick. Oh, Escape is actually a nice way to look at extra cards, too. Maybe maybe it is the Goldspan. How many red do I have? One, two, three, four, five red sources, six, seven red sources, plus Lotus Field, Utopia Sprawl, Minimorphose. 
<laughs> There's also a Hole Breacher, but I like Hole Breacher. I, I guess maybe I'd side Hole Breacher out if I played against someone who had no ways to draw cards. Um, but, all right, let's just put a couple basics in the sideboard just in case. And the only good cards I have in the sideboard, really, I have, like, Oath. There is also the possibility, like, what if I cut Goldspan and Hall Breacher? I could put Oath of Druids and Ulamog in. So, how strong is it to cast Oath and Oath up Ulamog? It's not that strong, it's fine. Oh, I really don't want Ulamog in my deck, because if I brain freeze myself to set up Breach and Ul I hit Ulamog, it actually is pretty bad. So let's just do that. Let's put the whole Reacher back. Let's put the gold span back. And I guess I guess we'll go with 17 lands for now. Oh, you know, I, I can't take out lands. I have one to roll Breach for a second. I was like, what is LED doing? And the answer is a lot. All right, well, this deck looks great to me. Let's see how it plays out. Alrighty, time for round one. On the draw against Echo Baronin. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. If I draw a green source, this hand pops off nicely. And it's even got a Fable of the Mirror Breaker to accelerate into. We Once upon a time, into planes. All right. Oh. Huh. I guess I just pass here, but this is a turn two Fable off Lotus Petal. That's a fine way to go about it. If I draw a green source, it'd be even better. But we'll see what we draw. Tithe Taker, sure. And Petal. Fable. Actually, I guess it's actually just better to cast Fast Bond, play Fiery Islet, and then play Fable this way. And I can discard uh, Life from the Loam and then dredge it. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, what are we getting? Hopefully not Cauldra. Though there was one, I think. Pretty late one. I don't know if, if it got all the way back to Andreas. Well, if we're tanking here, it's probably not just slamming Cauldra complete, but we'll see. Umazawa's GTA. Okay. That one I don't mind so much. All right, let's draw. Uh, yes, I'm going to discard. I think I discard Garrick Life from the Loam. Do I dredge Loam? I think I will. I hit no lands, but I hit Lotus Field. Okay, so let's attack with the Goblin Shaman. Make a treasure. Um, get a spirit token. I can play Minsk and Boo this turn. I think I just do that. Though, hold on, is there a better way to do things? I needed... I needed to draw green. Because I could play Lotus Field, float two mana, loam back the lands, replay them, but I won't have enough green if I do that. Is there a way to do anything else? I could also Lotus Field Thespian Stage, but I think I'd rather do Minsk and Boo this turn. And use the ability, put three counters on it, and then play Lotus Field and sack these two. And then pass here. So you can play GTA, put a counter on it, or play GTA, equip it, attack with Spirit Token, you get two counters on the GTA, but that's not too bad for me yet. And uh, next turn, we'll see what we end up doing here. I guess this deck doesn't have any regrowth effects, so I have to be a little careful, because if I mill Underworld Breach, it's actually a little bit awkward. Oh, Palace Jailer, interesting. Uh, is that good? I mean, yeah, it's okay. I do get to just immediately take back the Monarch. Uh, let's see. Exile that. Let's 
put three counters on this. Draw a land. I didn't, didn't love that. All right. I become the monarch. And then now, loam, loam, and land. Let's see. If I play Fiery Islet, if I sack it to draw a card, I could dredge back loam. Let's play another land. Hold on. Let's see. Can I... If I set, pay one and sack it, dredge loam. All right, I actually think this works. All right, so let's sack this using the red dredge loam. Don't want to mill breach. Didn't mill Zern Orban balance. All right, but I milled a land because now I can do this. Play a land. Play a land. And then Thespian stage the Lotus Field. Okay. Oh, and then I can, no, I, I won't draw with a Monarch. Or I won't dredge loam with Monarch. I'll, I'll wait till my next turn to see. I probably do want to dredge loam, but. Okay, so we got Umazawa's GT on the other side. You can't kill Minskin Boo this turn unless you have a way to get rid of the reflection of Kiki Jiki. And you can take back the Monarch, but that's not too big of a deal. I have a lot of mana. I'm going to get to see a lot of cards next turn. I just need to find Utterworld Breach and I win. So dredging loam doesn't accomplish too much. Steel Seraph. Uh, that does kill Minsk and Boo. Because the Steel Seraph can make the Palace Jailer a flyer. The thing is, if you do that, if you kill Minsk and Boo, I, I remain the Monarch. So I do like that. Unless you've got, of course, another... Another effect you can do. But hopefully that's the only one. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're giving Palace Jailer flying. And yeah, we're killing Minsk and Boo. Okay. Minsk and Boo go down. I remain the Monarch land. And you have Jita, you can... Put it into play with Stoneforge or just cast it now, whatever. Let's just not dredge. Oh, there's Brain Freeze. That's interesting. Hmm. I can Brain Freeze for a decent amount. Let's go draw. Let's dredge Loam. Okay, we didn't hit Breach. We hit Odawara. Odawara is pretty nice. Um. So tap this for green, get back those two. And I don't think I want to dredge loam anymore. Let's play this, let's draw, let's not dredge. That would have been another good thing to be loaming earlier. That's fine though. Pay a life, crack this. So we have Underworld Breach, Escape, Crucible, Stuff. All right, let's just get Taiga probably. I do want to leave up. I guess if I tap this for green, I can go Manamorphose, add red green or red blue, sure. No loaming. Oh, sail into the west. Okay, that's great. So I guess it's free to Utopia Sprawl here. And blue. So if I'm going to sail into the west, this costs three. So I can't Odawara. Storm count is three. Uh, I think I just play Odawara then. And tap this for green and then cast sail into the west. And then I'm not going to dredge loam. I don't even... I'm I'm not even facing lethal here, is what it looks like. Mm, what do you got in response? You're going to put a GTA into play, I guess, is the question. Do you want that in play? Because right now I'm facing six points in the air, so fairly safe there. I could brain freeze uh, for 15 here, but I don't think I don't think that that matters. I have 50-50 chance of just winning straight up, because there's Underworld Breach, and... Well, I guess I, 
I technically, no, I don't even need to land because I have Lotus Petal in my graveyard. So yeah, 50% of the time I just win off Breach right away. As some other percentage of the time though, I get to redraw. Land, land. All right, there's Breach, okay, perfect. Um, nine, land. Hmm, I guess one thing I did slightly wrong. Actually, no, it's fine. Even Reprieve I actually don't think works here because of uh, Fast Bond and Life from the Loam. I get to go Waterlog Grove, get back Life from the Loam, and then uh, and then replay the lands with Fast Bond. All right, so we got game one here playing against White Weenie. Uh, that kind of makes me want Mizium Mortars. It kind of makes me want Oath of Druids. Like, Hold Breacher actually doesn't even seem good. I don't have ways to make them draw cards. So I could put in Oath of Druids. I've got Goldspan and Elder Gargaroth to, to hit. That seems fine to me. And I guess... I don't think I need Ulamog at that point. We could probably cut Garrick. Rex Age can kill... Umazawa's GT or Steel Seraph. Yeah, it's such a bad thing to oath into is kind of the problem. Let's try this. Maybe we want Mizium Orders as well. Nothing I really want to cut here. Lotus Field did some good work that game. It let me it gave me some good loam targets, so it made loam into doing into a, a kind of a, a live card. And actually loam. Loam went a long way, and then Thespian staging the Lotus Field was pretty nice too. So overall, that worked out nicely, I would say. But I lo love it when a plan comes together. Garrick Relentless, also not a crazy addition, for sure. All right, on the draw here. Uh, this hand kind of looks like a mulligan. This hand doesn't do anything. Pretty far from doing something. This hand's a lot better. I'll keep this and I'll put Goldsman on the bottom so I can oath into it. <laughs> Turn figure of destiny. All right. Can I just draw a mox? I oh, don't know. Utopia sprawl. Name red, I guess. I don't know. Stoneforge mystic. Batter skull, I see. Fast bond. Um, Manamorphose, I think. I have a lot of different options here. Let's add green, green to keep all of them kind of open. Oh, sail into the west. Uh, let's go fast bond oath. See what works out here. And I put Goldspin on the bottom, so I know I'm going to hit a Gargaroth. The thing is, casting Fable isn't as appealing because we know that Andreas has Batter Skull in hand, so just casting Fable and then this gets put into play. I can't attack Batter Skull or the Fable token, seems kind of weak. Oko's okay, but this is better. The question is do I cast Sail into the West and just discard these two if I draw a land next turn? I kind of want to. Like, <sighs> discarding a Fable that's not doing too much and then taking... I could play Oko first. That's also not crazy. You can Oko their Batter Skull or whatever. Hmm, what's Andreas got here? The thing is, the Oath is probably... it's. It looks a little scarier than it actually is because the cards I have to Oath up are just not that impressive, but... Gaia's Cradle. I like your style. Sandy Dog of Mono Black Combo. Nice. And has my Dark Depths. All right, what is this? Okay, the Seraph. That's not too bad. I'll take my two. And draw for turn. I mean, I guess I get to Oath first. Okay, I milled one, and then I didn't hit Breach. <laughs> Funny. Um, 
Fable or Oko, Fable or Oko. I think I'm gonna play Fable here. The reason I'm playing Fable here is because it can get me to enough mana next turn to cast whatever I want. Also, if I oath up a Goldspan Dragon, then, oh, actually I can't oath up Goldspan Dragon because I know it's on the bottom. I haven't shuffled yet. So that would be a bad idea. So let's, let's not do that, shall we? Oath with uh, Underworld Breach and no way to get it back is a, a living on the wild side a little bit. Okay, in comes Batter Skull. Or, oh, are we equipping Batter Skull to the Steel Seraph and then giving it giving it Vigilance? Okay. Well, Oko's going to be good next turn then. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm at 10. Oath, <laughs> Oath, no, I'll pass on Oath. Uh, yes, I will discard. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. Mm, I'm definitely discarding Brain Freeze. I guess I'll, dis I'll discard Forest too. Oh, interesting. Um, what am I gonna Elk here? Guess do I want to attack with the Goblin Shaman? Not too much, but I suppose let's just cast Brainstorm first. Okay. So I could put in land back. Oh, I guess I don't care about exploration because I have Fast Bond. It's an instant. Oh, what I could do, put exploration and Sail into the west on top. Land. Land. <laughs> this is actually a really cool play. Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, add blue. Oko. Elk the Batter Skull, I think. And then attack with the Gargaroth. And. Hold down control, because in response to this, I'm going to draw a card. But in response to that, I'm going to sack this for blue. Draw and cast Sail into the West. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a nice little play. Yeah, I'd like to draw seven cards, thanks. I guess I could have even attacked with the Goblin Shaman, but that seemed not necessary. Oh, is that game? Yeah, that's game. Just a little turn four kill. No big deal. Uh, getting because I just go land, lotus petal, underworld breach, LED, brain freeze you. So that, that, that's going to be a nice one. The mid combat sail into the west off the Elder Gargaroth. Oh, baby. Mm, land, go to seven, petal, red, breach. Lion's Eye Diamond off of Forest, Manamorphose, Sail into the West, uh, Zern Orb, Sack this for Blue, and ba boom! That'll do it! 1 and 0. Oh. Alrighty, time for round 2. Playing against Sandy Doge. Ooh. This hand, this hand is pretty nice. Uh. Kind of wanna. I could reduce this to me having Mox Diamond and Sandy having no cards. I could go Land Mox Balance. I think I'm gonna wait. It's close, but what I think I want to do with this hand is wait two turns, and I hope I don't get too punished for this. Because Sandy does have a Mox. But if I can go land go, land go, turn three, Lotus Field, like Mox, Lotus Field, LED, balance, sack, lion's eye, put us down to one land, no cards in hand, no creatures in play. I th but in my one land is the Lotus Field. That sounds pretty good. Obviously, there's ways that goes wrong. All right. Swamp Go is not one of the ways that goes wrong. Hmm. 
this. I'll pass. All right, Sandy gets one turn to play something here, and it can't be a creature either. All right, land to go. Swamp, swamp, okay. No collective brutality, please. No, I guess I have the him. Grimwall, okay. I accept. I accept your terms. So now I get to go crack heath. Let's get forest. Mox, discard that. Discard a land. LED. Tap for mana. Play Lotus Field. Sack land, sack a land. And then hold down control. Cast balance and sack LED. Okay, so Sandy gets Swamp, Grim Monolith, and discards six cards. He has to lose a Swamp and discard six cards here. All right, and I have four mana. Hex Mage, Talisman, Liliana, Worm Coil, Prism. All right, pass the turn, and now it's my four mana versus Sandy's, but Sandy can only use his once and mine's any color I want. Any Minskin Boos? Mm, Hold Reacher's actually not bad. Let's just pass. Hopefully Sandy draws a card draw spell. Mm, I'm going to play the whole Reacher end of turn. Might as well get some beatdowns going. Oh, Life from the Loam. Okay. Let's get back. Windswept Teeth, Mountain, Breeding Pool. Mm-hmm. Play Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get Taiga and... I'm not going to dredge Loam here. If I had had one of the draw lands, the, like, you know, uh, Waterlogged Grove or Fiery Islet, I, I might do that, but given this, seems like there's no reason to. All right, fair enough. Oh, there we go. There we go, Ko. Oko, Thief of Crowns. I'm just powering up my Mox Diamond right away. I have tons of mana. Let's just get the beats going. Next turn, I'll just make a food. And we'll go from there. Oh, is this Bone Shards? <laughs> oh, Exhum. Okay. That's actually fine. Because I'm just going to Exhum Hole Breacher. Sandy can get Gristlebrand and can't draw. And then I get to Oko the, <laughs> the Gristlebrand. <laughs> wow, yeah. Hole Breacher is a messed up card, isn't it? <laughs> Yep, got him. Oh, I was actually going to Odawara it. Yeah. All right. Well, up a game here. I do definitely want Rex Sage. Don't want Oath of Druids, I don't think. Balance actually isn't that good against Sandy. Hmm. He's got a bunch of artifacts. He has Planeswalkers, but it does kill... Bristlebrand, so I think I'll I'll keep the balance in. But oh, he's also got Merit Lodge. He's got Dark Depths plus Vampire Hex Mage. So having a way to answer that potentially could be good. All right, on the draw here. It's funny that I could have mind twisted us both <laughs> on turn one. It worked out pretty well to wait though. All Sandy did was play a Grim Monolith. Uh, all right. This hand certainly could use a blue source, but that if I find a a blue source for brainstorm or a fetch land that'd be pretty good. If I find uh, one of the the sack lands, the card draw lands, that would also be pretty nice. Okay, or an island. Island also works. Exploration, island go. I think against someone who could have hand disruption, I should just say island go, and maybe I'll brainstorm. I don't know. Talisman, sure. I guess I could just wait another turn on Brainstorm, because I'm going to play a, the Rex Age this turn. Yeah, all right. I feel good about Brainstorming now. See any fetch lands? No, let's go Breach there, Boo there. Land, land. Rex Age. 
Alright. And then next turn, get to play Minsk and Boo. Underworld Breach on top is like kind of whatever. Land Minsk and Boo. Minsk and Boocifer. Mm hmm. Yes. Plus one, plus one. I mean, turn two Rex Age, turn three Minsk and Boo is pretty good. If you've got a removal spell, it's not the end of the world yet. Take some damage. Next turn, I'm going to do some more Minsk and Booing. Assuming I don't get Bone Shards. If I do, then I'm not too happy. Okay. Academy is... Well, that Rex Age did some good work. Land. All right, let's just attack here first. All right, I have very close to lethal next turn land, and I'm just going to play the Crucible. I don't think there's a big reason not to. All right, will a fast Minsk and Boo take things home? Ooh, black green. Oh, Pentad Prism. Okay, so we're going to play something big this turn. Right now, I have eight mana. No, six mana. Oh, Bolus's Citadel. Okay, you don't get to play too many things. And if you miss, you're dead. All right, there's your land. <laughs> Let's see what's next. And then next turn, I'm going to get to attack. Or you get to play Concealing Curtains. That does keep you alive. Because right now, I can plus three. I can pump this. Attack, you block that, and you go to three. All right, let's see what I draw. Oh, Zurin Orb. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack with these two. And you have to block the, the boo, otherwise you die. Okay. Go to six, and then minus two. Sack Boo, Nug you, and then there's a decent chance I can win this turn. Yeah. I think so. We'll see. Uh, do I even want to play Shell Dock? I have Crucible, so I might as well just wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Underworld Breach. Then I'm going to cast Sail into the West here. And... I'm going to embark. Sandy gets to get a, a new set of seven here as well, but I feel like I have such a high chance of just winning right now. Mm, I will not. Oh, I should dredge loam because that increases the odds I hit brain freeze. All right, I hit brain freeze. So let's go land. Uh, land. Brain freeze you. And. I can actually brain freeze myself as well for one. I don't know if Sandy has a, a reshuffle, but if not, it's going to be pretty easy to, to win. And even with a reshuffle, I feel like I'd be okay. Mm. LED. I mean, I have infinite mana. I actually have infinite of everything. Could I have won this turn even through a shuffle? Because I have Fast Bond, Crucible, Zernorb, so I have infinite mana, infinite life. I guess I couldn't have actually won... Let me see. I needed a way to get Minsk and Boo into the graveyard, which I guess I don't actually have. Oh, wait. Yes, eventually I could draw into Odawara, bounce Minsk and Boo, replay Minsk and Boo, sack Rex, Age Deal 2, or sack whatever. All right, either way, nice little 2-0 start. Let's see if we can get the last round. Alrighty, time for round three, playing against Falcon Eye, who took over for Dan, who had to go. Uh, well, this is a great hand. This hand has turn two balance, if I want to. I actually kind of want to draw a green source, though, yeah, that makes everything easier, because now I can go forest, exploration, forest, utopia sprawl. Getting a Xander's Lounge here or something, yeah. And naming white past the turn. And then turn two, 
I can go crucible plus balance, which is what I'm gonna do. If I draw a zero drop, no, Arr. so close. I was gonna get to mind twist uh, Falcon Eye's entire hand here. I mean, if I drew a zero, but all right, in time to escape from the wilds then. Oh, I chose white. Uh, let's play Crucible. I don't think I want to play Odawara as a land because I can just cycle it or channel it to bounce the Talisman and then play, play it out of the graveyard if I want to. Mesmeric Fiend, oh, that doesn't matter too much. I can't cast the dragon and if I draw a red, I can use Odawara on the Mesmeric Fiend eventually. Oh, Fable is nice. Let's do that. Again, keep this in hand because, oh man, brutal. I mean, I wasn't supposed to play the land, I don't think. Obviously, miscalculation is annoying, but all right, well, Falcon has made me discard two cards and countered another one. Let's hope you don't have too much more here. Let's see. What am I hoping to draw from this spot? Um, I guess escape or uh, sail away would both be good. Let's just pass. I don't really need to play fast bond. Now if I draw Zurin Orb, that, that would be cool. What would I do with that? Okay. You may sacrifice an artifact if you do destroy target artifact or creature. Um, so I could Odawara my own Crucible. I don't think that does much for me. Sure. I could Odawara the token and make Falcon I sack the Talisman. I don't know. It just feels like doing either just doesn't really do that much. Obviously, if I draw Zern or Ball, I kind of wish I had. Oh, Garrick's nice. All right. Um, let's just make a beast. Pass the turn. Yeah, hand disruption got me pretty good here. Oh, no, what is this? Oh, like a K command or something. Oh, Prismari command. Draw two, discard two. Discarding Spellseeker. Oh, that's bad news for me. Because uh, Balconai's got Ancestral, so if you're discarding Spellseeker. Custody Lich, huh? Okay. Oh, there goes my beast. And you make a token. All right. Time for me to draw some action. I mean, this was a sick hand. I, I would have had a turn two balance for your whole hand. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right. That does mean I get to gold spin next turn. Well, assuming I draw a land, but I have two draw steps to draw it. Oh, man. I'll <laughs> keep vamping. Basically, I had a great hand, but Thought Seize really stopped me from balancing, and then this countered. The fable and it all kind of fell apart from there. Don't I don't mind the matchup. I just yeah, thought season Ms. Merrick Fiend are gonna be tough. Okay. And Dark Confidant, sure. End of turn, Odawara the Mesmeric Fiend. And I don't have the fifth land yet, but I do have uh, Metamorphose and a draw step. So let's see if we can get there. Uh huh. Funny. Uh, let's go red blue. Land. Gold span. I'm just going to attack Falcon Eye. I, I know that the dragon's going to die right away to Falcon Eye taking the monarch back and to or to Duretti, but um, actually, 
Oh, yeah, that's fine. I thought about not playing it, actually, because of Duretti, but I think that's okay. All right, well, I mean, if I just find Underworld Breach, right? Oh, revealed Grave Titan. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I don't think I can get the, the last damage in. Well, Dark Confidence, actually. Hmm, I guess what Dur Duretti sacking a token to kill Dark Confidant might be the the technology here. Okay, so here comes Mesmeric Fiend. Yeah, I don't have anything. And you have Grave Titan in hand. Astrolabe's pretty good, sure. Yep. Falcon Eye knows what he's doing here. All right. Breach. LED, close. Uh, technically not dead. Play LED and pass the turn. Playing Lotus Field actually doesn't seem like it really accomplishes too much either. <sighs> So I'm going to go to zero here. Or no, I'm not even. I'm going to go to one here. Okay. I'm at one. Destroy my Zern Orb, sure. If you have a burn spell or something. Nope, Grave Titan. All right. Underworld Breach I th doesn't quite... Underworld Breach might not literally win me the game, but it would go pretty far. Uh, yeah. All right, so Rex Sage seems reasonable. Control deck with a lot of ways to draw cards. Well, Hole Breacher's going to be good if I can ever land it. Is Rex Sage good? Kills a Talisman. Duretti tokens? Nah. We're good. We just need to. Uh, not get the balance thought seeds next time and get the turn one thought uh, balance away your entire hand. It was going to go down to, I mean, Falcon was going to go down to one card there. If I drew any of the zeros, it would be, or, or a spell I could cast, I guess. I think it had to be a zero, though. It would have been zero cards. Don't think I want Gargaroth. Don't think I want Lion Sash, any of those things. All right, well. Can't get a whole lot better than last hand, so I guess I could put in Garrick Relentless because it kills Mesmeric Fiend and Dark Confidant. Maybe that's actually a little bit better than Garrick Wild Speaker. We'll see. All right, on the play, I guess I have to balance your whole hand turn one then. <laughs> no? This hand is good. <laughs> the Utopia's Brawl, no targets, is a little rough. Um, let's Metamorphose. Let's go green, blue. All right. Well, if I draw a, a forest. I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, my Minsk and Boo is going to go. Turn on Thought Seizes. Th this deck is going to struggle a little bit. Like, obviously, I could still draw replacement good cards, you know? But Lion's Eye is a pretty weak draw there. But this deck is a little bit action light. And if I get Thought Seize to start every game... It's going to be hard. Yeah, Thought Season and Night's Whisper sick. Oh, if I just drawn Hole Breacher there. <laughs> sure. Fast Fund, all right. Yeah. Sail into the West would be nice. Obviously, I can't cast it this instant. <laughs> all right. I mean, one Forest does get me up to five mana, at least in a few turns. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose. Let my team know that I was likely going to lose. We'll see. We'll see. But 
thought sees into a Night's Whisper into Ancestral when I'm sitting here drawing lion's eyes and fast bonds, like in situations where they're bad. I will say that thought sees into Ancestral is going to beat a lot of decks. My deck among them. Baleful Strix. Eh, if you have to discard two cards, that's something, though. If you discard, it's not even an Atali or anything either. <laughs> Come on. Could we, could we find something here? I guess Brain Freeze. Right now I can Brain Freeze for nine if I draw a Forest. If Falcon Eye goes like Dark Ritual into multiple spells or something. Show and tell. Okay. Guess I'll put a Gold Span into play. Sure. What am I going to do? Not do that? Okay, I take 5 of 15. And I'm not going to fire off a brain freeze for 6. <laughs> uh, all right. Pretty cursed draws here. Like, honestly, I still wouldn't have cast Minsk and Boo. But my draws have been Fast Bond, Exploration, a 5 drop, and a brain freeze. They're horrible. I'm just dead now. Cool. I guess I guess that is it. Um, yeah, I mean, barring Falcon Eye putting six spells on the stack here or something, I think I'm dead. Bribery. Uh, okay. You get a whole breacher. Draw. If I draw Breach, I actually could win. That's the funny part. Like, I would just win on the spot if I drew Underworld Breach. Sure, let's cast Fable and, and then die. Okay, well, 2-1, but unfortunately my teammates lost a lot of matches, so that'll do it. This was a good deck. 2-1 was not a bad result, and honestly, like, with... If I had drawn even, you know, in the bottom 30% of my draws instead of the bottom 10%, I might have had a chance this game, but I did not. And it was a bad matchup, so it's not like I was a huge favorite. I just did also draw poorly. But so it goes, and uh, yeah, the, the Brain Freeze Breach deck, it delivered, you know. Got to do a lot of the cool things. Could have used one more draw seven, but I think this deck was pretty ideal. So really did enjoy playing it. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Watch me brain freeze yet some more helpless individuals. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with another cube draft. I'll see you then. <laughs>